Your physician has referred you for an EMG nerve conduction test. What is that? Well, it's a, basically it's two tests in one. The first part of the test, a nerve conduction study, is a test that's using small electrical impulses to send signals up and down the nerves. Uh, typically we use a device like this, a laptop type computer hooked up to a specialized base. Uh, that will generate a small uh, current in milliamps, very tiny signals. Uh, the stimulator is used to send little impulses up and down the nerves. Recordings are made from the different hand, uh, fingers, uh, forearm, elbow. We do nerve tests on the legs as well. Uh, that's part of the test. It's finding out how fast and how strong nerve signals travel. The second part of the test is the EMG study, and that stands for electromyography. It basically is a fancy word that says we're looking at the electrical activity of the muscles, electromyo. Uh, in that test, we'll use the same machine, uh, but we use a little different setup where we use a small pin that acts like a microphone. The very tip of it does. Then we place that pin to the muscles that we're testing to listen to see how well the, the nerves are supplying the muscles. Uh, those two parts of the test, the nerve conduction and the EMG, really give us the big picture and allow the physician to find out if there's any evidence of nerve damage or nerve injury anywhere from the neck to the fingertips or from the low back down to the toes. It's not a test for inflammation or irritation of nerves. It's a test specifically looking for nerve damage and nerve injury. It's the most sensitive test and most accurate way to look for things like carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, which is a common problem that we see people for, for nerve studies. And that's what an EMG nerve study is.